Lake Buena Vista, Florida, as the Boston Celtics have rebuilt their team into an Eastern Conference contender the past few years, they have done so around the idea that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown will be franchise cornerstone players for years to come. Monday night, Tatum and Brown showed how that vision is beginning to come together. Tatum's 32 points and 13 rebounds and Brown's 29 points, including 15 in the fourth quarter, propelled Boston to a 109-101 victory over the Philadelphia 76ers in Game 1 of their first-round playoff series inside the NBA bubble at the Walt Disney World Resort. We've just got to fight, Brown said afterward. That's what it comes down to. Who wants it the most? Who wants to fight? Today, we came out and we battled. We were the more physical team and we came out on top. I was proud of us. We've got to keep that fight up if we want to win this series. The Celtics needed every bit of Tatum's and Brown's exploits to survive against the 76ers, who got 26 points and 16 rebounds from Joel Embiid, but were forced into 18 turnovers, that became 21 Celtics points, as Boston used its speed and athleticism defensively to make up for its lack of size against the much bigger Sixers. Brown also relentlessly attacked former teammate Al Horford down the stretch, including a key moment when Boston took the lead for good with a 6-0 run powered by Brown blowing by Horford, causing him to wrap up Brown for a level 1 flagrant foul. Brown made both free throws, then drove by Tobias Harris to earn another two free throws, which he made. When Philadelphia chose to stick with Horford in its starting lineup, as opposed to starting rookie Matisse Thibel, it chose to try to use its size to punish Boston, and hoped it would be able to take advantage of Brown guarding him. Instead, it was the other way around, with Brown either shaking free for three-pointers, he shot five for eight from deep, or using his speed to snake through the defense for layups. Al's a terrific defender, Celtics coach Brad Stevens said. And I think that we're just doing our best to try to get a good look every time down the court. We'll keep looking at what we can do to play better offense. A good place to start is to give the ball to his two young wings and get out of the way. Tatum scored 21 points in the first half, a playoff career high, and finished with three blocks en route to a game high plus 19 in 41 minutes. Although Ben Simmons did a terrific job shutting down Tatum when the teams met during the regular season, holding him to just a 28% effective field goal percentage in those matchups the second-worst mark of any player against a defender who guarded them for more than 30 shots, per second Spectrum's tracking data, his absence was a significant problem for the Sixers, as Tatum had no trouble getting to his spots.